In this short video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction about MATLAB and how to get started with this software. I'm using here MATLAB 2010B. Uh, this is the default or basic interface of MATLAB. Uh, we will use, or what matters to us, is command window. Uh, command window you can consider it as, as a real life calculator where you enter the command and when you hit, hit enter it will give you uh, the result directly for example if we say a equal 1 enter it will give you 1 it means a created a variable a and de dedicated to 1 uh, b equal 5 enter C equal A plus B. Okay. Or you can type a more complicated code, for example, X equal A over open bracket C plus three close the bracket to two power three, for example. Now let's move to matrices. We have here three matrices. The first matrix is X with dimension of 1 by 3. It means we have one row and three columns. And matrix Y and Z both have the same dimension, which is three rows and three columns. In case of uh, matrix addition, both matrices have to have the same dimension. For example, you cannot add matrix Y with matrix X because they have six different dimensions. But you can add matrix Y, add matrix Z. So let's define each of them in MATLAB when we're still working in command window. So in matrix X, X uh, you have to write it as a capital. Uh, or you can write capital or small, but uh, you have to consider that because the the variable names in MATLAB are case sensitive. So capital X is different than small x. X equal to open a square bracket two space four space and one close the bracket enter. So now MATLAB created a variable x has dimension of 1 times 3, 1 row and 3 columns. And we use space to separate between each column. And you can use comma as well. Okay. Uh, and to define matrix Y, capital Y equal to 4, comma, here we use comma to separate between columns, 2, comma, 3, semicolon. Semicolon it means the second row, 8, comma, six comma, 7, semicolon, 5, you can use space, 9, space, 1, and close the bracket. See, we have the matrix Y here as the matrix Y here. Okay. Uh, now, to define matrix Z equal to open a bracket 3 minus 4, 2 semicolon, 2, 3, 1. We can hit enter because we don't, we did not close the uh, square bracket. So it, it will give us the, uh, a new a new row. One four zero. Close the bracket. So to separate between columns, you use comma or space, and to separate between rows, you use semicolon or enter. Okay, but it has to be inside the square bracket. Okay, now matrix Y plus matrix Z, enter, it will give you this result. Now, 
uh, note that we did not specify a variable here so matrix created its own variable or automatic variable called answer it means that the answer of this operation go to variable answer okay let's try to uh, add matrix X with matrix Y okay it will give us an error error using plus matrix dimensions must agree so you cannot add matrix X and Y because they have different dimensions for the case of matrix multiplication uh, the number of columns in first matrix matrix X should be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix for example here in matrix A we want to multiply matrix A to with matrix B so the number of columns should be equal to the number of rows in matrix B because we multiply the first column or sorry the first row with the first column in matrix B and uh, put it in the first element in the resultant matrix so x x dot y does not equal to y dot x okay so here uh, x this is x and y this is y x time or dot y enter okay of course uh, uh, we said that the number of columns here in matrix x should be equal to the number of the, uh, the number of rows and the resultant matrix will have the dimension of 1 times 3 okay here uh, let's try uh, y times x error inner matrix dimension must be agree inner uh, inner dimension means here the number of columns uh, in the first matrix and the number of rows in the second matrix this is the inner uh, dimension the outer dimension uh, is the number of rows in the second or sorry in the first matrix and the number of columns in the second matrix so uh, here as we said that x times y does not equal to y times x now let's move to workspace window here uh, work, workspace window represent or display each variable you have created uh, for example we create matrix X matrix Y this is the value uh, and the variable A has one variable or one matrix one by one matrix and the answer and so on and uh, we have here also the minimum value and the maximum value of that particular matrix okay uh, uh, going back to command window and suppose we have the matrix X this matrix X and we want to transpose the matrix X to make uh, its rows to be columns and its columns to be rows so X equal X same but transpose we use this uh, apostrophe to transpose a matrix so I enter this is the transpose it created now uh, the matrix uh, has uh, three rows and one column and we can see in the workspace now it's separated by column uh, or so se semicolon instead of comma now suppose you want to multiply each element inside matrix X by a constant or by a number for example uh, Y equal to capital X or times 3 okay so now 3 times 2 equals 6 3 times 4 equals 12 and 3 times 1 equals 2 so now we have capital X the matrix capital X and the matrix small y okay uh, if you want to multiply an array multiplication array multiplication it means you multiply the element each element in the matrix y to the corresponding one in the matrix X 
means first element by first element, second element by the second element. In this case, we add, for example, x dot and multiply. So we add here dot before the matrix to change the uh, matrix multiplication to be array multiplication to small y. Okay, enter. So uh, it multiplies 6 times 2 and 4 times 12 and 1 times 3. This is uh, we call uh, array multiplication. And uh, also uh, in array multiplication, both matrices have to have uh, a same dimension. Uh, the dimension of both matrices has to be agree. And the same, of course, hold two for matrix, for example, matrix capital Y and matrix Z. So uh, Z dot multiply or star Y, this is, uh, we call it the array multiplication. It means for here, first element in matrix Y multiply the first element in matrix Z and so on. Now if you just want to uh, clean the board here in command window you can write the command CLC it will just clear the board nothing else but all, uh, and all the variable will stay in the memory. Okay now now let's have some matrix manipulation uh, we have a matrix Y uh, we want to make the element 7 here which is the element in the second row and the third uh, column equal to 0 so you write y open a bracket the uh, row index which is row 2 okay comma column 3 close the bracket equal to 0 now this case or this command means that the element in the second row and the third column of matrix Y equal to 0. See, now he changed the, this, this element to be 0. Now suppose you want to make all elements in the last row equal to 0. So you say, or you write, Y open brackets, last column which is a 3, and all of them just write colon here a colon equal to zero see now suppose you want to make this these two rows equal to zero or sorry equal to one okay so you write matrix y open a bracket the row second row to the third row all elements equal to 1 all elements equal to 1 okay uh, so you, we use here the colon inside the the, the matrix index uh, to indicate that you have to select all all elements in that row or that column okay also you can use the command end for example if you want to make this just the first column equal to 0 so you write y open a bracket 1 2 end it means that the first row to the end the first row here to the end okay of first column equal to uh, let's say 0 See, so end here it means start from, starting from this number to the end of the dimension equal to zero. Also, you can use this command to move the selected items to other matrix. For example, let's create a new matrix called M equal to uh, the matrix Y from the second from the first row to the second row and from second element or second column to third column so now y m equal to 2 3 1 1 which is these four elements
another job or uh, function for uh, colon is that to create a vector of series number I mean let's say vector V equal to 1 2 10 it means starting from 1 jump by 1 to 10 or another way you can say V equal to from 1 jump by 2 it means step by 2 to 10 okay so it, it will start from 1 jump by 2 to 10 or let's say you equal to 0 starting from 0 jump by point 1 to 1 and also you can avoid representing uh, the results by add semicolon at the end of the command line I mean if you want to create a, a matrix and you want you don't want to represent the results by hitting enter you write a equal to 1 2 3 then add this command or this this uh, semicolon to avoid representing the result so it's create the matrix a but it, when you hit enter it will not represent the uh, value of a and this will be useful for speed up your processing if you have many lines or many commands uh, it's improper to represent each result of your command line again to clear the port uh, write CLC enter and to clear all variable you have created in the workspace type clear all and TLT again TLT and TLT again to have a clear port okay now let's move to another MATLAB window which is the editor uh, the editor uh, used to write a long MATLAB and by single click you run this code to do that just click here on new script it will open a new window inside MATLAB interface which is an editor now uh, uh, sometimes it's a bit like this in separated uh, window to put it inside the MATLAB interface just double click or just click on this doc editor okay it will move this editor to uh, inside MATLAB interface and also you can manipulate or add or delete these windows from uh, this desktop menu you can remove workspace co or command window or editor or whatever you want now suppose you want to draw or plot a sine wave like this one we have here the angle one cycle of sine wave starting from 0 to 2 by okay and the amplitude of course will be 1 and this is the tire and this is the label of x y axis and this is the label of uh, uh, x axis so in command and, and sorry in editor now we will start by defining the x axis let's say x or whatever x axis let's call it x axis equal to open a bracket starting from 0 jump by point zero 0.01 let's say uh, from 0 to 2 times by uh, close the bracket okay uh, put a semicolon y axis equal to sine of x x axis okay plot y axis okay. 
Yes, I think that I've been there. And uh, press this button uh, to run your simulation or to run your code. Uh, uh, it says you did not save the you did not save the command or the program. So save it as M file M file because editor is, is just as a, as a notepad edit the, the text or the command to, uh, command line so let's name it by sign wave okay save see this is the sine wave now you can see that it's in smooth it's not smooth why because here we jump by one right and x axis we jump by one to smooth to smooth this this curve you have to increase the resolution of x axis because now here as you see in the command window x axis uh, is just about six elements one two three four five six seven elements okay so rewrite and x axis to jump by zero one okay and see what will happen see that it will smooth the curve by add more by add more elements in x axis and here in command window if you want to uh, avoid the representation of uh, the y axis because this 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 line is for y axis and also as x axis just add a semicolon at the end of y command okay and you can uh, clear this this window by clc okay now again blot it okay so but as you can see here that this cycle it starts from 0 to 60 or something but we need it to start from 0 to 2 by why because you we draw here just the x the y axis so in the blot command it will take the first element and put it as 1 and here it will not start by 0 it will start by 1 okay and the second element at 2 and so on so to redraw the x axis against y axis you can just add here x x axis comma y axis now this command means or this line means that blot x axis against y axis so both vectors has to be agreed in dimension it means if, if you have here seven elements here should be also seven elements okay so as you can see starting from zero not from one to six or beyond the six which is two by okay uh, but here we have no label x label and no y label and no tire to add y label right what this command y label uh, let's call angle and by angle by uh, radian okay uh, close this apostrophe and close the bracket here this this function or this command it requires a variables of text it means you have to add this apostrophe in end and uh, at the beginning at the Okay, now run the code. See, this is the result. Uh, so, this is the uh, X label, and this is the Y label, and this is the title. Okay, if you want to redraw the same figure but 
x with x axis to be in degree instead of radian. So you know you know that the relationship between uh, the radian and degree is that uh, 90 times the required angle over pi. So you rewrite another x axis. Let's name it x degree. As we say that you can name any any name as you want. Uh, Ninety over by times x axis. That's it. And redraw it again. Plot x the degree against y axis we don't have to change the y axis of course so write it as it is and you can copy this here and change radian to be angle uh, degree sorry degree degree okay run the code see the result here started from 0 to 2 by or uh, sorry 180 degree now in this example uh, we draw the amplitude of sine wave against the angle now suppose you want to draw a real uh, signal which is uh, against time okay and uh, the sine wave will be ha will have a frequency so let's start a new file. Uh, it's better to start by clearing uh, any variable you have created. So clear all and also close all figures you, that you have generated. Uh, so this command also close or will close any figure you have opened and CLC to clean the board. Uh, it's okay if you don't start by this command but to be uh, more safety okay we said that uh, we want to create a signal with with a certain frequency uh, you can consider it as a carrier so the frequency f1 any frequency you want let's say the signal of frequency 2 let's say 5 the second frequency f2 will be 3 okay f2 equal to 3 so let's define the x-axis which is the time axis so time equal to so from 0 to 1 second right But here, actually, it will give us just one sample because it will step from 0 to 1. So, how many, uh, in case of first signal, we have 5 cycles in uh, 1 second. So, we have to define here what we call sampling frequency or FS equal to, let's say, 5. Here, 5 uh, FS, it means I want to five or sorry fifty samples in one second. Okay, so let's say here that one over f s. Okay, so in time axis it will start from zero to one second, step by one over f s, which is the sample frequency or the sampling frequency. Now define the second or uh, the first signal, signal one equal to sine 2 times by times f1 don't forget times time axis as we have defined
Now plot time axis against signal one and run the code. Save the code to example two. We have an error here. Undefined, we have mistaken here. Signal here, C. This is, should be capital because we write it here as a capital. Run the code. See, this is the. And we can see here it's not smooth. As we said, you can increase the sampling frequency. So let's increase it to 100. It will smooth the curve. See? Now plot time axis two. Look here actually it erased the first figure or the first draw and overdraw the second uh, blot. So to avoid that, you can use figure command to generate a new figure here. So we have here now two figures, first one to the first signal and second one to the second signal. And of course you can use the X label and Y label and the title to uh, indicate the labels of each of them. Now suppose you want you want the signal one and signal two in same window but in separated uh, blocks. Uh, so you just write here remove uh, figure and write sub lot two one one and here sub lot. Two one two, and see what will happen. Select this command. Press F nine to run just this command. See here. So, uh, sub blot two one one indicate to this blot, okay, and sub blot two two two, two one two. Sorry, it will indicate this blot, okay. Now suppose you want to. Add a third signal, signal three, which consists of signal one and plus signal two. Okay, and you want to draw, draw it in the third one. In the third, so here, sub lot three one three, and you have to change this to three one two, and this one three one one. It means that the first sub lot will indicate to the first panel, the second sub lot will indicate the second panel, and the third indicate to the third one. Run the code. See, now the third blot, we did not blot anything in it. So just blot time axis against signal 3. Run the code. See, now this is the first signal, the second, the third, which is first plus uh, second now uh, as you can see here the the code become longer uh, and you want sometimes to add some comments to 
remember the code or this variable whenever you review the code. So to add a comment, just start the comment by this percent symbol. Here, click when C1 and you can add here click when C2. Of course, here this command will not be executed, okay, because uh, uh, they indicate as a frequency. This is just for your 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 knowledge or your your comments. Now here uh, I just added a comment and also add here a title comment. It means that just when you uh, start by start a line by two percent with space, it will create a, a cell. This is this uh, this is a cell, okay. And this is the second cell. So I just uh, uh, wrote a comment, okay, and also I wrote a title of each figure. Run the code. This is the signal. First signal, second signal, uh, third signal, which is first one and second one. <laughs> this is just the title I have added, and this is the time in second. Now, if you want to find the energy of each signal, signal 1 and signal 2 and signal 3, as you know that the energy of any signal, for example, S, is the integration from minus infinity to infinity of the signal square dt. Okay, how can we represent this in MATLAB? So, let's define a new cell called uh, finding and uh, define the signal, the energy of first signal. To be uh, integration, of course, uh, is the summation. So sum. This is the summation of signal one dot square. Here uh, we indicate the dot here. It means that square each element, array square, uh, do you remember? Uh, square the each element inside uh, this signal, then sum them all times dt. Uh, so what is dt? We didn't define it. dt is, is actually the uh, inverse of sampling frequency. dt equal to 1 over fs. Because in time axis, we jump by 1 over fs, right? So the time resolution is 1 over fs, okay? So this is the uh, energy of signal 1. The energy of signal 2 will be energy 2, signal 2. You know, uh, it's better to remove this one and see what will happen. See here, the energy of signal 1 equal to 0.5, the energy of signal 2 equal to 0.5, and the energy, of course, the signal th uh, 3 will be 1, which is 0.5 plus 0.5 equal to 1 here. Now let's find the frequency spectrum of the third signal. Uh, and we expect it to have two uh, uh, frequency components, which is F1, 5 Hz, and F2, 3 Hz. Okay? And so let's, de define, let's, let's define a new cell called Okay, to find this, uh, the frequency, let's call it y equal to uh, uh, 
FFT of signal 3. Okay. Now this FFT is a function return uh, the discrete form of uh, a Fourier or exponential Fourier series. So exponential Fourier series is a complex uh, value because uh, it contains the amplitude spectrum and the angle spectrum. Refer to exponential Fourier series for more information. Now call amplitude spectrum equal to absolute value of y because as we said that the Fourier transform will return uh, the complex number because it contains the amplitude and the absolute value of this number will be the amplitude spectrum okay so now let's plot plot the amplitude spectrum see what will happen see now this is the first uh, first side here this is the real uh, spectrum and this is the imaginary spectrum or the positive uh, spectrum and the negative spectrum so we don't care about this one okay what we care about the real one here so and here uh, it's not defined uh, the frequency axis is not true so we have to create a frequency axis so let's create the frequency axis start from 0 to fs over 2 okay it means uh, start from 0 hertz to fs over 2 because the uh, uh, fft will not uh, go beyond the sampling frequency okay and then we will blot the frequency axis against the amplitude spectrum but be aware that here frequency axis will be half of the sampling frequency and it will start from zero so here if you if you run this code press f9 it will give you a, 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 an error because the vectors must have the same length so what you have to do is to type here starting from one to fs over two plus one so as we said here that here fs to ignore the imaginary part okay and plus one here because we start from zero zero frequency and actually the real number because the exponential uh, give us at the half of the real spectrum so you have to multiply by two for more details you can refer also to uh, exponential Fourier series and you have to add here figure because we already blot a figure here so if you don't add figure it will blot, blot in the subplot here so add figure here to generate a new figure okay so this is figure 2 and this is figure 1 see now here we have this axis start from 0 to 50 Region it, uh, run the code you have two figures so you have two figures the second figure the first figure is the uh, signal the uh, second figure is the Fourier spectrum or amplitude spectrum here you can see that the amplitude here is not normalized uh, to normalize the frequency you can just here 
divided by divide the amplitude spectrum by fs to normalize to normalize your spectrum and right here normalize amplitude Run the code. So you have two figures. First one. First one is the signal one plus signal two and signal one plus signal two. Uh, the amplitude spectrum of signal three, which is the normalized uh, and here the normalized frequency. I hope you have enjoyed with this uh, small tutorial. This is your start with MATLAB journey and you have to practice retype all the results we have generated this in this uh, tutorial to be able to write your own code and your own simulation or program thank you for watching and see you in the other video inshallah